So here's how you can get started with your own Social Work Magic. If you go to socialworkmagic.com, you'll always see these drop downs. You can select the membership option. And when you get there, if you're not already signed up, you can sign up or you can choose to log in. You can log in through Facebook, Google, email. I always log in through my Google account. Once you do log in, then you will be taken to the page where you can begin interacting and getting to work with your Social Work Magic. If you're not a member yet, you will still be able to go to the free Social Work Magic tool. And once you click on that, you will be taken to the free page where you can play with the tool, see what it's capable of, and decide when you're ready to take it to the next level. So the Social Work Magic tool came out this week and people all over have started to play with it to explore and experiment and figure out just how they'll use it in their day to day. For those who haven't started using the tool yet, in this video I'll do a quick how to to show you how you can use the guide section of the tool and the chatbot section of the tool to optimize how you operate day to day in your social work practice. So let's quit talking and let's get into it. So for this demonstration, I'm going to assume that you have one of the membership plans. If you have the free plan, it would be the exact same thing. You will just have some limitations on the functionality of the tool, but essentially you'll still be able to see how it functions and what can be done. So the first section that I'll show you is the section that you'll see called Social Work Guidance. Now this section is a little bit more of a template, longer form section. If you're hoping to feed into the tool specific parameters and give back a specific output, this is the section of the tool that you would use. So, here we go. So, the first thing you would do is you're going to want to take a look at this section here. Always this little, little reminder of how you should operate with the tool. And then once you've done that, you can move on to the choose a perspective for your desired response. The tool has already been trained with social work expertise in the background. But if you want to pinpoint that a little bit more and be more specific about what perspective you would like the magic tool to use, you will use this drop down here. You have to choose something here. So, in this instance, I'll go ahead and choose child welfare social worker, although there are many other options. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to tell the tool what is it that you want to create? What do you hope to get from this as your output? So in this case, let's choose a close plan. Um, and then in the interest of time, this box here allows you to type in any other details, any further information that you would like the model to have in order to get you to where you want to be with your final output. I'm going to go ahead and paint something in here, but you could put anything. And there are some tips and tricks that you can use to make your results even better that I'll do in another video. But for now, I might do one here at the end. But for now, let's just put this information. Don't stick information about a case. No name, no identifying information. Then, you're going to go to this box. What voice or tone would you like? So there was a lot of different choices. I'm going to use professional. You can choose any tone that you would like, but since we're doing a case plan here, I want it to be professional, so that's the tone I will use. The intended audience, once again, there are many options that you have. I'm going to use court. I'm going to assume that this is a case plan and I'm writing for court out in a professional voice with these particular details. And I'm going to say the desired length of my response. I'll just choose something in the middle, 250 to 500 words. And then you're going to go ahead and click submit. And when you do that, you'll see it working. This process, depending on the speed of your browser, the how busy the server is, um, the length of your response, the difficulty of your response, all those kinds of things factor in. But I have found that responses take anywhere between 10 to 60 seconds typically. So here we go. I think that was under 60. And these are the results that it produces. So now we're back at the input page. And I told you that there are some tips and tricks you can use in the input field that can improve or change your results. So I'll show you that right now. So again, I'm going to go ahead and choose the same information. I think it's a child welfare social worker on the last one. We want a case plan. Here I'm going to paste the information that I had. But you'll notice I added to this one simple line. Develop a 10-step case plan that is thorough and specific. So although I already told it to develop a case plan, I'm just adding this little piece of information. And we'll see if or how that changes our result. So I'll choose the same thing, a professional voice, intended audience, court, and length, 250 to 500 words. And let's submit it and see what we get back. Again, depending on a lot of different variables and factors, this will be a different amount of time each time you do it. We added a little piece of a different line onto ours, so that could change the time that it takes for the result. But again, I found that it's usually between 10 and 60 seconds, and here we go. Now you see, this case plan that we got back in this hypothetical scenario is numbered 1 through 10. So if you're looking at something, at organizing your thoughts in that kind of way, we could have said organize with bullet points or Roman numerals or anything. Just by adding that line, we got a complete 
I mean, I haven't read through it and I'm doing this in real time. I don't know if it says anything different, but it's organized differently. So that's just one of the little tips that I have available that I'm going to make into a new video coming up soon. But that hopefully shows you how you use the social work guidance section of the social work magic tool. So now let's move on to the other side of the social work magic tool, the social work assist bot. You will see here the social work assist bot is a very different interface. It's something that's meant more to resemble a chat that you might be having or a text thread that you have with your colleague or your boss or something like that. And it's more, a little more of a informal kind of back and forth conversation that you're having with this bot that is trained through AI in social work. It has social work expertise. So let's go ahead and just try it in real time and see the kind of functionality that this side of the tool has. So let's just ask, is, oh, let's say, is social work hard? And let's see what it gives us. You see it working and it answers the question, okay? So let's say, what's so hard about it? Oops. And it answers. So it, it gives you, you see it as a chat here. So now let me clue in the chat and let me do a quick scenario as if I was out in the field and I had questions, let's say, for a supervisor who wasn't available. So let's say, um, how do I know if I should remove children from the home? Let's see what it gives us. This is a much more complex answer. As a social worker, it's important to assess the safety. So it gives that answer. And let's see what about if the parents are angry. I'm not reading the responses. I'm just trying to demonstrate the functionality of the tool. That it's understandable for parents to feel that are angry. As a social worker, it's important to approach the situation with them. So it's telling you in real time what you might be able to do. What can I say to them to make this easier? So I'm off the top of my head, I'm just thinking of things here. And you'll see this side of the helper was kind of almost like an advice line, if you will. Um, it's providing stuff that obviously you would take with a grain of salt. You would consult with your organization, with your supervisor or manager when, whenever it becomes possible. But this is something that you can work with. You can use it in any particular area. For instance, um, REP is a good modality for people with PTSD. So I'm completely switching up the conversation now. And let's see. So that it tells you about this. You can, you know, tell it explain maybe T with details. Let's see what it gives. So it gives that information. So I'm not reading any of these. I just tried to demonstrate to you how you would use this side of the social work magic tool, the social work assist bot. So again, the social work guidance tool is meant to be used if you want something structured, you know the format, you know your audience, your tone, you really want a specific product as a result of your interaction with the tools. The social work assist bot is more informal, you can say. It resembles more like a chat or a text thread you might have with someone that you're working with, a mentor, a tutor, a supervisor, and it's something that you can have an ongoing conversation. The chat bot remembers the context of the conversation so you can go back and forth with it. On the free version, you, it does not have that memory, so you have to ask each question individually. Back to the guidance tool on the free version, there are limited options in each of these areas. Just enough for you to get a sense of what the tools talk about, but you may need to switch to a different plan if you really want to get the most out of your interactions with the social work magic tool. So that's a brief how-to and how you can use the social work magic tool day to day. As I mentioned, the free tool and the other plans have different options available to them, different functionality, but all of them you can find at socialworkmagic.com. You'll see the different plans here depending on if you want the free one with limited functionality or one of the other plans with full functionality. The only difference being if you want to go with a monthly, quarterly, or annual investment in how you will use the tool in your day-to-day. -day. Now make sure you subscribe and hit the bell because I will be doing more videos on how to use this tool and specific use cases that might come up frequently for you or might be something that you could adapt to your particular use case or scenario. In any case, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you go to socialworkmagic.com, try out the tool, and see if it's right for you. If nothing else, you could at least play with it for a little while, because it was pretty fun to play with it and see the types of results that are possible with the tool. So with that, I'll see you in the next video. Keep social working, and use the Social Work Magic tool if it helps.